Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you live from WWE Hell in the Cell 2017. Show kicked off with one hell of a matchup. Might as well have been called War Games. War Games making its uh, uh, return to WWE finally after a 20 year absence. Um, at the, at the next NXT coming to you before Survivor Series. But um, Hell in the Cell, the Usos versus the New Day. This is the last time that we're going to see these guys go at it for a long time. This was one hell of a match. Like I said, they should have found a way to get Kofi involved in the cell. There was one point in the match when uh, Big E was, was running around with a member of the Usos, slamming him into the cell, and I thought that was going to be their exit strategy. But then they would have had to find a way to repair, repair the cell before the, the final match of the night with Shane and uh, Kevin Owens. But this was one hell of a way to kick off the show. Let me honestly tell you that this show is going to start, and I thought we were going to get like Randy Orton versus Rusev, or or one of the matches that just I didn't really have high expectations for. I needed to go in there and make a, a blended drink, um, and I'll show you that throughout the show. But um, I, I was like, fuck it, I'm not missing a minute of this match, and uh, I, they deserved it. This was a great match, the Usos. Five times tag champions now by winning this match. And I know they won and bouncing them back a few times to the New Day, but uh, they, they deserve it. One hell of a run for these guys. 17 years. No, no, not 17. Seven years uh, plus in WWE. I know they debuted somewhere around SummerSlam 2010. Um, it is where I saw them, I'm pretty sure, for the first time. But um, one hell of a match. I mean, right off the bat... Uh, basically, the Usos, uh, you know, go under the the ring to grab steel uh, chairs. New Day runs out. Uh, Xavier Woods uh, grabbed a kendo stick. Uh, we had Big E just flat out grabbing a chain, uh, like this was going to be a four horsemen beatdown. This match honestly had everything. Even you know a, a huge symbol at one point. We had cowbell. But I did think that, you know, there was a little bit too much comedy in this match. I know that we we're in the PG era for WWE, but um, th this was one hell of a match. I, th I thought the New Day was messing around a little bit too much, especially when the symbol and the cowbell came out. I know that you got to have, you know, a little bit of uh, everything in there, but um, fun, fun stuff. I mean, it's stuff we had never seen before. Obviously, we'd never seen... Oh, I, I was going to say, we never, never seen a tag team match, but we did have... The, uh, the DX versus uh, the McMahons and Big Show. But um, at, at one point, I think it was Jimmy Uso got tied up in the corner uh, involving uh, five kendo sticks where basically they just pinned him in the corner and then shoved kendo sticks uh, into, into the, uh, the cage, making it where he couldn't move. Although uh, Xavier Woods went for a high spot off of the top rope, and we had uh, him busting loose and, and breaking that up. Um, not sure if it's the first time we've ever seen uh, uh, handcuffs, but uh, Xavier Woods uh, was handcuffed, and then he was he was uh, sort of tied up around the corner uh, where he was beat with kendo sticks by both members of the Usos. Uh, but that was where Big E finally got his big comeback, and he basically was just seeing red, as they said, and just slamming people all around. Um, you know, just making sure that uh, you know the New Day came out on top, but. The Usos um, pulled it out. Uh, a big victory for them. Like I said, five-time champions. I think my neighbor's barbecuing some chicken. That's the only thing I can think about right now. And it smells really damn good. I gotta go make that drink. Hopefully Hell in the Cell will live up to it. But one hell of a way to kick off the show uh, with that big uh, the big match. Next up, we're going to be having that triple threat uh, with Ty Dillinger, AJ Styles, and Baron Corbin for the United States title. So we'll see what that match brings for us.